So in the past, I want to say year or so, I've had more and more questions about turning um, any one of these lanolin undercoating products that I use, how to turn the clear version into a black version. So that's what we're going to go over in this video. Um, the process to change the color is extraordinarily simple. We're going to go over it. Um, I've never actually done it myself before, so you and I are going to do it live here on camera because the thing is, once you change it to the black color, you can't pull the black color back out of it, so it is what it is. So like I said, I've never tried it, and the reason that I've never tried it is personally, I don't see a huge value in the black version. So let me get my truck up in the air and kind of explain why I don't spray black. I only spray clear products. So I've got my truck up in the air as you guys can see, and there's a point that I wanna make even before we start looking at the bottom of the truck. First thing right off the bat, when you're spraying a black product like this, what about the overspray? The overspray is gonna turn the vehicle black depending on how much you're spraying, how well it's atomizing. Your jacks, your jack stands, your lift, whatever you're using, it's gonna have black overspray on that stuff and possibly the nice white pristine walls in your garage are also gonna turn black. When you spray clear, the clear isn't nearly as obvious that there's something on the surface. If I had sprayed the black version, these arms would literally be black right now. So, the other thing you need to remember is when you go underneath the car and you start looking around at things, just take a look at everything. You notice how everything's dirty, and grimy and nasty, that's because the coating picks up dirt and grime off of the road as you drive it. So you paid a premium for that black coating, right? Well, the clear version turns black too. That's the point I'm trying to make here. Look at the shock. The shock is black, both of them. Everything under here is black because it's picked up dust, dirt, road grime, whatever, and it's turned everything black. If you think, I, if you don't believe me, watch this. You, when you pull the coating back and scrape some of the coating off, that shock was gold. So this truck has only had clear lanolin on it. It's never had a black version. What do you need to spray the black version for if the clear version, when it collects dirt and road grime, turns black anyway? That's the point I'm trying to make here. Now, I understand there are people out there that are gonna want to turn any one of these clear versions of any of these lanolin products black for any number of reasons. I get it. There's people out there, no matter what, that are gonna wanna change the color of this and make it black for their application. 100% understand it. I'm just saying it's not always relevant or as relevant as you think it is. With that in mind, we're gonna turn this gallon of Surface Shield black. I have never done this before, so you and I are gonna experiment with this at the same time. What you have to remember is this is a one-shot deal. Um, once you turn this black, it is black. That is all there is to it. You're not gonna be able to pull that black pigment back out. So. All right, now the way that we're actually gonna do this is with graphite powder. You can buy this on Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description to it. And as you would imagine, it's literally just black powder. Um, I'm not gonna name names and told, say who told me this, but people in the undercoating industry that make black products literally told me this is what I'm using to make my black version versus my clear version. I have the exact same formula. The black version just has graphite powder in it. That is literally it. So you only get one shot as far as adding this stuff in. You can't pull any of it back out. So I'm gonna add the least amount possible to get good coloring. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So what I have, I've got a couple um, cheap measuring cups from my wife. And we're just gonna start measuring this out. This is a quarter cup. And I'm just gonna keep adding this a quarter cup at a time until we get the, the desired coloring that we want. So I'm gonna take this, fill it up, dump it in and mix it. So this is a quarter cup. 
So now I'm gonna take a drill, mix it in, see what we get. Set that there so it's not dripping all over. I'm probably gonna go a little bit more that's, um, it's not very dark. It's like more of a dark gray than it is a black. So I'm gonna dump some more in here. I keep mixing. I don't know, that's pretty black to me, guys. Um, you could keep going, obviously, you can add more and more. At a certain point, there's gonna be diminishing returns on this, so that's half a cup to one gallon. So a container like this is a quart. So you could probably do 10 or 15 gallons with just this one container. Um, and this container, I wanna say, set me back, I think it was like 15 bucks. So. When you compare that to the premium that they charge for the black version of wool wax or fluid film or any of these other products that are out there, that's actually by far cheaper to just buy your own graphite, mix it in, than it is to pay the premium for the standard black version. The only way that this doesn't work is if you're buying aerosol cans. If you're buying aerosol cans, obviously there's no way to add black pigment to a sealed aerosol can, but anybody that's buying any bulk any one gallon, five gallon, 55 gallon drums, this will scale just the same. About half a cup for one gallon is about where I'm gonna leave it. I can add some more just to try it to see if it gets any better. But like I said, at a certain point, there's just diminishing returns. So I guess we'll try and find out where that is just so you guys are aware. So that's three quarters of a cup to one gallon. Here you go guys that was three quarters of a cup and i still have a ton in here i might have used an eighth of this container maybe at the most um, like i said a little bit with the graphite goes an extremely long way there's no doubt that you could probably do 10 or 15 gallons with one of these containers so i'm going to spray a little bit of this stuff guys just to touch up that spot on that shock just so you guys can see um, how it's going to spray and what it's going to look like but I mean, as you guys can see, it's, uh, it's pretty well black. I mean, it should cover rust or whatever you want to cover up extremely well. So there we go, got the black. It's already on my hands, it's everywhere already. This is why, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the black stuff, just because it's such a giant mess. Guys, that's where we wiped the uh, shock off earlier. I'm gonna spray a little bit of black on it just to cover it up. There you go, the black version, real simple. 
All right, guys, so that is how you take any one of these lanolin products and make it into a black version. It's simply three quarters of a cup of graphite powder per one gallon of product will get you the desired results. You can use a little bit less graphite powder and lighten it up a little bit, but at a certain point, you can only make the coating so dark, so keep that in mind. So just for your own reference, guys, I also went out on Amazon and I looked up the clear version of fluid film versus the black version of fluid film, just the one gallon container. The black version of fluid film and the one gallon container was nearly $20 more than the one gallon container of the clear. You can buy this for $18.99 and have enough for probably 10 or 15 gallons. As you guys can see, I really didn't use a whole lot out of this container to make it that dark. So potentially you could save quite a bit of money by mixing in your own graphite powder versus buying something off the shelf. Wool wax wasn't nearly as bad. So the one gallon container of wool wax versus the clear versus the black was only $5 more for the black than it was for the clear. But the, the pricing on the, the fluid film was just crazy when you take into account you know, what the graphite powder actually costs. So guys, I'll have links down in the description to the graphite powder, to all the products, to the spray gun. As always guys, if you guys like the video, hit like. If you wanna see more content, go down and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.